Right guys, what's up? This is Egan Rush in this video. We're gonna be walking in Petra Grasky side. We're gonna check out the awesome uh, Johan Johan uh, Shanghaiski uh, Monastery. It's a very unique place over here. It's a holy place. And we're gonna go to uh, from that side from uh, uh, check out the Karpovka River here in Petra Grasky side of St. Petersburg and also go to Shkaluska metro station throughout this awesome region in the city center. So check out my, uh, please subscribe to the channel, like and, uh, and let's go. It's gonna be super busy. Petrogradskaya metro station, PFC, Kuzme uh, Toshka Russian McDonald's over here on the right, all in front of you. And this is one of the main centers of city centers, so there's plenty of those. Some, I don't know, is this from which century is this? Early 1900s or late 19th century? Yes, there are some homelessness in, uh, in Russia as well. I mean, also visible. Had a Z mark on the right hand patch, patch or a badge on this R. So, if you know, if you don't know, I have a Eagle in Russia own uh, a map of all the locations I filmed so you can actually pinpoint place you want on the map and just uh, check out how it looks like. The link is in the video's description below. So who's this one here? I cannot make his name. She has. Definitely a poet. Like that. Out of ordinary uh, intersection over here. We got four seconds left. Petrogradsky is a, some people like, it's one of the top places, many of the people prefer this area more than even the city center, historical center, because of the architecture. It is very different, for example, this place here, Petrogradsky, this is by the way, Kamien Nostrovsky Prospects, and I have filmed on, you can see that on a map, going southwards, but uh, I haven't filmed this part for you guys before. I've seen, I've been here. I've been to many places outside without camera as well, believe it or not. But yeah, this place is a... Uh many people prefer this as their favorite place in St. Petersburg. Some people prefer Vasily Island, but well, you can imagine that I like this place, but it's not my favorite. This is maybe, I've been here, I've been mostly in the south of Petrogradsky. Oh, wow, check it out. 
in the south of Petrogradsky where uh, is the Peter Paul Fortress located and uh, you know Neva River and I've been a few times here as well but this is I need to explore more of Petrogradsky check it out We just just get in, I don't know. You can actually go even inside this. St. Petersburgian style of uh, style of well courtyard, and this goes well from well to another well, as you can see over here. It goes deeper and deeper. And here's the actual like. Busy, busy prospect. Uh, looks like well, outside, inside the courtyard. Nice. I think we should get get out from this side over here. And behind that is actually some uh, Soviet era, late Soviet era, just like sixties. This here is definitely early day, well, early 1900s, I think. And these are Khrushchev's. I'm a fan of Khrushchev's, by the way. This, I think this might be like 20 degrees already. Kamin Ostrovsky Prospect and go to Karpovka. Karpovka. Which is fenced off. And here's the. Oh, there is also even trees <laughs> inside the courtyard. Not really sure where are we going, but back to the well, This is a nice design, it's a round shaped section. We are back. It's a crazy person to do this. Well, it's, he knows what he's doing, but don't do that in St. Petersburg. It says beware, if there could be ice. Ice on the, on the roofs. 
discounts and discounts because today is actually uh, when I'm filming this it's Christmas Christmas day 7th of January we're gonna go to the left because this is I uh, don't remember the bridge name but this here is a uh, bridge crossing the Beautiful red brick buildings. Here is something that I haven't filmed yet. Another canal in St. Petersburg. Uh, lots of services on the left and this building has been building for the I don't know for like three years at least I remember being here three years ago that was already sealed off and uh, in this section of the video we're gonna go all the way to the monastery that's a really awesome monastery. It's uh, Ioan Shanghaisky, Johan of Shan, uh, Ioan Shan. Oh, well, sorry, not Shanghaisky. I said it wrong. Ioan Kranstatsky. Oh, wow. I said it in the intro wrong. So, Ioan Kranstatsky. And uh, he is Johan of Kronstadt. And Kronstadt is the mil currently military city with an amazing naval cathedral where his uh, I think his body lies there but I think it also lies in the monastery I'm not sure but uh, he's a very uh, important saint in Russian Orthodox Church check it out there it is the amazing really beautiful monastery we're gonna go there now and uh, I've actually been to the monastery uh, lived inside the monastery when I was a kid I came here well it's basically like a pilgrimage to come and stay at a holy place in this, in this case is uh, the monastery of Johan and, uh, it was interesting I still remember many things but that wasn't a tourist trip to St. Petersburg. I don't remember anything about it. I just remember visiting the uh, what they Xenia, St. Peter's Xenia of St. Petersburg, and she's a very important holy person as well, saint. side because that side is under construction it's a very interesting looking place clearly going well it's not police it's actually a traffic police GPS this here is a public toilet over here on the left and starting this year I think summertime they started to they began to uh, to be free you know free of charge which is nice Check out this park over here because there's a lot of uh, birds on parking. Uh, 
because this is like a warm place. I believe this could be a popular, uh, popular uh, drinking spot during the summer. Sorry guys, I don't have any food. So, yeah, during that trip, during that trip, well, basically a pilgrimage, we went to this uh, monastery, then we went to this uh, place where we uh, went to Sanya of St. Petersburg. And this is, I'm definitely gonna feel more. This here is uh, Chikalovsky Prospect, leading all the way to Chikalovsky Metro Station. Chikalovsky, I think it was a pilot, hero pilot of some sort. Okay. I filmed that metro station and some videos started from that metro location as well. Look forward. Forwards. Today it's really cold. It's uh, 20 degrees, I believe. That monastery over there is really uh, well. It's a product of its time. I'm gonna film it a little bit closer in a while. And the design is very interesting. It's uh, it's interesting because it's also a strong way it looks well. I think it's a brick built out of brick bricks. And uh, so it gives that interesting like 1900s feel and it is 1900s. I'm gonna put the description about its conception construction in the link below and we are not able to go in actually because you have to have permissions uh, from uh, the main priest to film normally you don't it's not allowed to film you know, some people do film but you know i have this gimbal I cannot film and I don't want to. I'm a Christian myself, I don't want to wreck my Alright, you guys, we have reached the awesome church. I'm gonna go later back here. And what's the street's name? But this is Nabirjna Reki Karpov. Yes, this is very, very uh, well holy place. Trust me, I cannot strongly underline it. And there's always a lot of birds here. So there it is, Yonsha Kronstadtsky. Monastery of Johann of Kronstadt. Really beautiful. So they have some like rooms. It's not like a. It is not like any. Uh, it's not like you go into a hotel or something like that. It's just that uh, you can agree to stay, and you basically probably pay a little bit for staying, but it's not a hotel thing. So let's check it out a bit closer. What do we have here? This here is uh, the building across the monastery. What's going on, guys? I think they're, they're, they're educated. I think they're getting food. But I, I, don't have to, I don't have any food. Sorry, guys. Checking out close up. There's the icon welcoming you of Johann of Kronstadt over there. 
entrance to the left and uh, underneath there is a, a room where it's like his uh, remains, all the remains are, well, holy, yeah, and uh, but the actual Basically, it's on the second floor or the third floor, even. Really amazing place. Okay, they're here on the river of Karpovka. But in this next part, we're actually gonna go towards the uh, uh, Chikalovsky Prospect. I wonder will I edit it right away or make it a separate video? Right, in case this is the end of this video episode, thanks for watching this uh, one walk by the embankment of, uh, well, Kamen Ostrovsky Prospect and then of course uh, this embankment of uh, River Karpovka. So uh, subscribe to the channel, you see Real Russia uh, on my channel, I show you the Real Russia, interesting locations. An ordinary life which is I think the most interesting thing and I hope to just share even a little bit for you guys because I can feel it but you have to sense it for yourself by coming here I'm trying to catch the last glimpse of the daylight we are now at Petrogradsky uh, Petrogradsky side of St. Petersburg I'm filming more and more of this place as well this is kind of a mystery to me as well we just walked from uh, Petrogradska metro station all the way to uh, Johan of Kronstadt, beyond Kronstadtsky Monastery. I just went in, but uh, uh, covering all of St. Petersburg, hopefully Russia. This is even Russia, I make videos about this awesome place, and we're gonna walk now towards Chikalovska through uh, Petrogradsky side. So let's talk about Russia and see the daily life over here. Let's go. Here is uh, actually the street, oh, sorry, the, the river of Karpovka, the embankment of Karpovka. Really beautiful. Everybody, please join me. There's a lot of birds, always. And a really amazing view, guys. This is the monastery of Johann Kronstadt. It's a saint of the Russian Christian Church. Over there, a bit further, is the Gulf of Finland. I'm not sure what is this street over here. To go this way and explore this amazingness. Saturday in St. Petersburg. And if this is not actually live, for some reason, technical reason, then I will just release it later on and you'll know by now if this is live or not. The street is Ulitsa uh, Vsevoloda, Vsevoloda Vishnevskova. Ulitsa Vsevoloda Vishnevskova. Wow, what a name. I don't know who is Vsevoloda. It's quite, quite possible that this video is actually 
set to private. So we're going to see this actually later on, guys. And I start streaming a bit later. Or I will combine that video with another walk. Let's walk the street all the way to the end and uh, These technical stuff are pretty hard, especially with all the streaming, etc. But this place is really, really peaceful. Beware of that. try to continue my journey with another vid video keep on watching and stay tuned Now it's here at the Rogratsky side, and this is Sev Ulitsa, Sevo Lodovishny Hevskova. And here we have a mouthful of the foreigners who are exploring this, for me, quite unexplored city, so city area. Welcome to join. This is even Russia. I wasn't able to. I was, I was trying to make it a proper stream, air stream, but technical problems, so here we are. Finally, we come into Chicago's there. Oh, what an amazing view. Such a view that I need to take. Metro station, I think there's a pretty long way to go. And I'm gonna travel later on to South St. Petersburg, going to uh, the city center. This is on the other side of Petrogradsky. Up, 
joining guys. We're walking through this pretty awesome place called Petrogas. Place. Not too much actually, but trying to also cover this area a little bit better. So uh, let's go actually on the Chkalovsky Prospect. And today the winter has hit really hard, it's freezing again. But yesterday was pretty okay with 10 degrees Celsius, now it's once again, like, uh, I don't know, 20 something, 25 degrees maybe. So let's check it out. Hello. Hello, Ionis. I had some technical problems. So the stream is once again without any metadata. Let's see if people are gonna find the stream at all. At least it's a recording I can do. We'll do some stuff with it later on. For a big audience unless unless we're able to reach bigger audience but welcome to join me so this is uh, the Alaska side we're going south from the north across basically if we go forward all the way forward then we're gonna then we would come to uh, Spartivne metro station, which is across the Vasily Island corner. But this place is amazing, check it out. And we are greeted by beautiful Russian sunset over there. Regions uh, Institute, Oiro. This place is out of, it's not for tourists, so I'm showing you real St. Petersburg. This is not my go to place either, though, but you know, I'm covering as much as I can. This is, many people say, Peter Gratsky is uh, the most favorite place. the winter feel on the other, sc other side of the screen for you guys. Anywhere you go there's a lot of Russian uh, Christmas trees by the way. Here's another one. Yesterday we walked a lot so there's plenty of uh, plenty of uh, Christmas trees on the way. favorite but I like it. Petersburg, one of 
airports in every city. Women's shop, women's clothing, shops everywhere. So this is like a busy road, even though it's not like uh, it's no boulevard. Oops. I don't want to eat that. I had shawarma yesterday. My stomach didn't like it too much. Beautiful. The side streets of uh, Petrograsky are really great. Pizzeria, pizzeria, garchon. I wonder what language is that. So, by the way, today is uh, Christmas. Yesterday was Christmas Eve. And today it's Christmas in Russia. So, you have the chance to actually walk with me on this uh, Christmas walk. Sides, uh, sides, uh, side streets, connecting streets. Really cool. It reminds you a little bit of Krestovsky, uh, Vasily Island. This is something that's not new, I think, when it's renovated. It looks pretty cool. It's uh, definitely different. Different style from a typical St. Petersburg or even Petrogradsky, which is usually like, I don't know, somehow a little bit more simple. A historical center near Nesky. Better than the Bolshoi Prospect in some case because Bolshoi Prospect is the other main prospect through uh, Petrogradsky area leading to, to the historical center to Neva. And uh, but this is like more, well, it's smaller, but it's more quieter. But Bolshoi Prospect is like uh, you can compare it to Nevsky in some ways. Petrogradsky sides own Nevsky. But I might even like Bolshoi Prospect here more than Nevsky itself. This is a bank. This is the bank, guys. BTB. I used to get money from there, but now I'm a spare bank person. Here is a Tsech 85. It's a cafeteria. There was a soldier inside, by the way. There's a lot of uh, military academies, by the way. So, nothing out of the ordinary. And this definitely looks like a, like a school. Man, Petrograsky is really nice. I will actually probably come here more often. But meanwhile, I'm making videos. Film in this place for you guys. You can count how many Christmas trees we'll find. This is maybe the third, at least second for sure. Every few minutes. The 
these teremoks is a Russian fast food, it's like mostly, well, Russian soups and also mostly blinis, pelmenis, etc. I might actually eat pelmenis today. And uh, they have also these small kiosks spread around the city. Merry Christmas to you guys from Russia. Point of love sounds peculiar. What love is this? I don't know. Right, we have arrived already to Chkalska metro station. If you are interested, by the way. I have filmed videos leading towards that way and also this way so you can check out the map map below map below and uh, you can click on the map to see Petrograsky and you can see also the videos on the map which I filmed already This area is Chikalovska metro station, as you can see. That dude is Chikalov. actually that we have arrived. I will re-edit this video later but uh, this is way too cold to do anything else. I don't feel my fingers anymore and uh, so check out this is gonna be looking great at night but uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, see you guys in the evening there's gonna be a lots of stuff coming out so bye bye from Pietrogatsky side.